Today I'll be grading NBA free agent signings this offseason, focusing on the players that have relocated. Michael Jordan landing a pricey Gordon Hayward for Charlotte, Atlanta getting Young and Collins support by signing Gallo, and the Lakers stealing the sixth man of the year from their LA counterpart are just some of the players changing teams. This video evaluates every major deal, so stay tuned to see every player rocking new threads for the 2021 season and the most impactful signing. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to D-Flow Hoops. If you're new here and a basketball fan interested in NBA rankings, predictions, and stories, please subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which is at least twice a week. Gordon Hayward's time with the Boston Celtics is over. The Charlotte Hornets agreed to a deal with the forward on Saturday worth $120 million over four years. This came after the 31-year-old shockingly opted out of his $34.2 million contract with the Celtics and became an unrestricted free agent. When he arrived in Boston, the expectation was he could help put the team over the Eastern Conference hump and into the NBA Finals. Instead, he suffered a season-ending injury in his first game in 2017-18 and averaged just 11.5 points per night the following year as he worked his way back from that setback. That scoring average was the lowest Mark Hayward put up since he was a rookie in 2010-11. Hayward was better last season and averaged 17.5 points per game while shooting 50% from the field and 38.3% from three-point range. But the team fell short of the NBA Finals, and he suffered an injury in Game 1 of the first round against the Philadelphia 76ers, not returning until Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Miami Heat. The Hornets can at least take solace in the fact that he played well in 2019-20, as the team looks to parlay this move into a postseason appearance, but I'm giving this deal a C- minus because of how much he cost Charlotte. Hornets are taking steps towards being competitive in the Eastern Conference, with Hayward joining number three overall pick LaMelo Ball on the team. But owner Michael Jordan gifting Gordon a salary of over $32 million in the year 23-24 when Hayward's 33 years of age makes this a risky signing. The Philadelphia 76ers and center Dwight Howard reached an agreement on a one-year deal on Friday and a reported deal for the veteran minimum exception of $2.6 million. Carving out an important bench role with the NBA champions, Skinny Dwight averaged 7.5 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 1.1 blocks in 69 regular season appearances. With the Sixers, he'll be expected to back up Joel Embiid, and with how injury-prone JoJo's been so far, Howard's addition fits perfectly for Philly. The 2004 first overall draft pick has built a terrific resume. It includes eight all-star appearances, five all-NBA first team selections, and three defensive player of the year awards with six different organizations. Howard's proven ability to play next to two superstars should help him with the Sixers. But more importantly, Howard provides an excellent insurance policy behind Joel Embiid, so this is an A-grade acquisition. Chris Dunn will look for a fresh start after reportedly agreeing to a two-year deal worth $10 million with the Atlanta Hawks on Saturday. The Chicago Bulls didn't extend him a qualifying offer this offseason, eliminating the opportunity to match the deal. Dunn has had an up and down three years with Chicago since he headed over from the Minnesota Timberwolves in the 2017 trade for Jimmy Butler. The 2016 fifth overall pick was at his best in 2017-18 when he averaged 13.4 points, six assists, and two steals per game. Dunn's going to provide depth in the backcourt for a Hawks team that's heavily dependent on Trey Young for offensive production. Dunn's defense could also help button up a problem area for the Hawks. I'm giving this signing a B for Atlanta. Not only did they re-sign Contavious Caldwell Pope, but the Lakers acquired veteran wing Wesley Matthews to a one-year, $3.6 million deal. LA will get a solid, reliable 3 and D wing with playoff experience, who's going to bolster their depth chart and give LeBron James and Anthony Davis another role player in their quest for a second straight title. Matthews is a replacement for Danny Green, who was dealt away in the Dennis Schroeder trade. I'm giving the Lakers front office a B for this savvy veteran signing. Forward Christian Wood looked like an elite player in the making at times with the Detroit Pistons last year. And the Houston Rockets rewarded him for his efforts with a new contract. The two sides agreed to a three-year, $41 million contract on Friday. Wood dropped 27 points, 12 boards, and five assists in the first game following the Drummond trade and posted double doubles in seven of his first 11 contests without the big man. Considering he's 25 years old and should get better with experience, 
this signing is very welcome news for Houston, especially given the overall skill set Christian brings to the table. I'm giving this an A-. Free agent center Aaron Baines reportedly agreed to a deal with the Toronto Raptors on Sunday worth $14.3 million over two years. Toronto was desperate for a center with Marcus Gasol's departure to the Lakers and Serge Ibaka signing with the Clippers. Last year, Aaron quickly became the Suns' most reliable option at center and produced quality numbers over the first few months of the 2019-20 season. This production adds to a resume that also includes a lot of postseason experience with playoff appearances in six of his first years in the NBA. The big man was on the 2014 Spurs title team and appeared in 28 playoff games for Boston across two seasons in 2018-19 and 2017-18. The move should help upgrade the front court rotation for the Raptors, adding a proven big man who can play big minutes next season, whether he starts or comes off the bench. Baines should be a valuable contributor in 2020-21 and potentially beyond. I'm giving this deal a B. Coveted free agent combo forward Danilo Gallinari is signing with the Atlanta Hawks for a contract worth $61.5 million over the next three seasons. Gallo joining the Hawks is a B-plus acquisition and not higher because he'll have a cap hit of $21.5 million when he's 34 years old. But in terms of how he fits with the Hawks' space and pace offense, this is an outstanding acquisition for Atlanta. He's a little bit pricey, but Danilo's a high IQ offensive talent on the wing next to Trey and John Collins. That can really help out Atlanta's young rising core. The Hawks were the least efficient three-point shooting team in the league last season making just 33.3% of their attempts. Gallo shot an NBA 19th best 40.5% from three-point range, so he could help them out in that area. The Hawks have been on fire this offseason. Stay tuned for another reason for that. 2020 playoff sensation Jeremy Grant is heading to the Detroit Pistons after agreeing to a three-year, $60 million deal this past Friday. In his one season with Denver, the 26-year-old averaged 12 points, 3.5 boards, and 1.2 dimes while shooting 47.8% from the field and 40% from three. The Syracuse alum signed a three-year, $27.3 million deal with OKC back in 2016. But despite improving his game, he was traded to Denver for a 2020 first-round pick back in July of 2019. This year's playoffs saw Jeremy lock down Kawhi Leonard and Paul George en route to the Nuggets series comeback against the Clippers coming back from 3-1. The Pistons are giving Jeremy $20 million per year because they think Grant is going to take the next step into one of the better two-way wings in basketball. That's not an impossible thing that could happen. It's a nice pickup, a little bit pricey though, but I'm giving this a B. Despite losing Montrez Harrell, the Clippers organization gets an A for bringing in the NBA champion and three-time all-defensive team player Serge Ibaka to the equation. Serge signs a two-year deal worth 19 mil with LA. Although the sixth man of the year, Harrell, will be missed, Ibaka can stretch the floor and has proven title-winning chemistry with the claw Kawhi Leonard. The two starred on a cooking show episode that went viral on YouTube, but meshed even better between the lines. Raptor fans will miss him in Tampa, I mean Toronto, but Mafuzi Chef has a chance to make the Clippers much more dynamic in 2021. The Suns just keep on racking up the W's in the 2020 offseason as they sign veteran lockdown wing defender Jay Crowder to a three-year deal worth $30 million. Next to Chris Paul, Jay's going to make this Suns team damn experienced and tough. While this was once a youthful team in the desert who looked like a chicken with their head cut off at times, with the CP3 trade and now the signing of a 3 and D player in Crowder, Phoenix has some impressive veteran poise to assist D-Book and DeAndre Ayton. Jay Crowder's taking up a hefty $10 million in cap space, but the Suns get a B-plus for Crowder's signing. The Denver Nuggets add an efficient three-point shooting stretch big in Jamichael Green. They ink the former Clipper forward to a $15 million contract over a pair of seasons. The Alabama product has greatly improved his range over the course of his career. The man shot nearly 39% from three last season. Let's grade this deal though. This is a solid, sensible move on both parties here. Losing Grant was a massive blow for the Nuggets. And while Green isn't a one-for-one -one replacement, he still brings decent value. Most importantly, Green will fit nicely in the power forward spot, and he should feast on open shots playing with Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. He doesn't have the overall versatility of someone like Jeremy Grant. He won't create his own offense, and he shouldn't really defend speedier forwards. 
but the Nuggets get a B for this signing because Green can guard bigs adequately and can contribute to a good team defense while being able to space the floor at a very high level. Rajon Rondo switching teams again, this time joining the Hawks on a two-year $15 million deal. Atlanta's determined to take a step up next season and quite frankly have been one of the biggest winners of this offseason by acquiring an all-time great facilitator in Rajon after signing Chris Dunn and Danilo Gallinari in free agency. This all proves that the rebuild is officially behind Atlanta and they're in win now mode. So an A minus deal bringing in Rajon for Atlanta. The controversial 2020 dunk champion Derek Jones Jr. has agreed to terms on a two year $19 million deal with the Portland Trailblazers. Because of his prodigious dunking ability, I think a lot of fans overlook the value Jones provides on the court, but between his size, which is 6'6", 210 pounds, and almost superhuman athleticism in addition, Jones can guard multiple positions, a coveted skill at a time when traditional positional designations are falling by the wayside. He needs to improve his three-point shot, but he was an extremely efficient offensive player last year for the Heat, and I just talked about the Hawks being off-season winners, but Portland's made some stellar moves of their own. They traded for another wing in Robert Covington. They also re-signed Rodney Hood, so their wing defense is absolutely stacked next to Damon CJ after the signing of Jones Jr. For that and how relatively cheap the Blazers got the 23-year-old, I'm giving this signing a B+. The LA Lakers and forward Montrez Harrell reportedly agree on a deal worth $19 million over two years. Harrell spent the last three seasons with the Clippers, emerging as one of the NBA's best bench players, averaging 18.6 points and 7.1 boards last season, while providing the energy off the bench for a team that reached the second round of the playoffs. But the 2026th man of the year decided to change course and play with the other team in LA. A spicy twist that adds juice to what should be an even more fascinating in-market rivalry. But let's grade this deal. Harrell is a rugged rebounder and one of the NBA's most intense competitors and should be an upgrade over Dwight Howard. Harrell's a far more dynamic offensive player than anyone the Lakers trotted out next to Davis up front last year, and they're getting him at a bargain price, to say the least. As the Lakers' title run proved, it's pretty easy to plug and play anyone alongside LeBron and AD. And while Harrell has his shortcomings on the defensive end, LA wasn't going to find a better player on the market at this price. But the fact that they got a rising near 20 point score for such a low cap hit is a sensational acquisition for Rob Palenka and the Lakers front office. I'm giving this move an A+. Maybe it's frustrating for fans of other contenders. Take it from me, I'm a Raptors fan. But the reigning champion Lake Show just got even more scary by adding an elite beast in Montrez Harrell. Two shoutouts to Ona for correctly predicting that Montrez Harrell's gone from the Clippers, and to Ronto for saying that Chris Paul's move to the desert will be the most impactful to the West standings. The question for next video shoutout is, which one of these signings in this list deserves more attention? But follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Hoops to be friends and to stay updated. Keep watching some of my recent uploads. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.